Criticizing China on a U.S. TV show? That's not okay. CBS is self-censored because of China. This is China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Shocking news. Actually, no, it's pretty typical. A giant U.S. corporation self-censoring because of business interests in China. This time it's CBS. CBS All Access is a streaming app like Netflix that lets you watch your favorite CBS shows on demand. There are even some CBS shows that are only broadcast on the app, like Star Trek Discovery and The Good Fight. But it turns out CBS All Access isn't quite All Access after all. On the May 2nd episode of The Good Fight, basically a legal drama, this flashed on the screen for eight seconds. Because this happened right after a conversation about censorship on the show, many viewers thought it was a joke. But no, it was not a joke. There was an entire section of the episode that was actually censored. What was so controversial that CBS execs felt they had to force the Good Fight producers to put up that embarrassing and slightly confusing text? Could it be perhaps this scene featuring a Uyghur woman talking about the Chinese regime's human rights abuses? One million of us are being confined in what the Chinese term re-education camps. And what does re-education refer to? Changing our religious beliefs. We are ordered to sing hymns praising the Communist Party and write self-criticism essays. Wow, that's pretty sensitive. But that's not the part that was censored. See, then she started talking about Chum Hum, which is the good fight stand-in for Google. And I tried to warn others. I used Chum Hum to announce that the authorities were coming to arrest dissidents, religious activists. But Chum Hum was cooperating with the Chinese government. We were, we were. But that wasn't the part that was censored either. It turns out, I can't show you the part that was censored because it's so politically sensitive that there doesn't seem to be a version of it anywhere online. See, The Good Fight often has short animated songs in the middle of episodes, and these shorts cover loads of controversial topics. For instance, Pepe the Frog. And then, ta-da, a cartoon Nazi frog. They even had one about impeaching President Trump. Tiny hands will scratch and claw. Now, CBS had no problem with that stuff, but the animated short in this episode went too far. Here's the lead up to it. And again, they're talking about Chum Hum, which is basically the in-show version of Google. It's an exploratory program. It's a customized version of our search engine that we're developing for China. Wait, customized? As in it allows China to censor content? We don't like to call it censoring. It just obeys the laws of the land. So you did manipulate your algorithm. It's the Chinese market. You need to toe the line or you get frozen out of the market. And that's where the censorship happens. So what was so sensitive? Well, according to the songwriter, John Colton, the animated short had a song that mentioned some of the specific things the Chinese regime is censoring. Falun Gong, a spiritual movement that is repressed by the Chinese government. Tiananmen Square, a reference to the violent crackdown on pro-democracy demonstrators in 1989, and Winnie the Pooh, to whom China's President Xi Jinping is often compared. So I guess CBS is saying that you can show Pepe the Frog, but you can't show Winnie the Pooh. I think I have a solution for that. Pepe the Pooh, you're welcome. The censored animated short also apparently described the way that media companies censor content with animations of movie scenes being snipped out of film strips. And it criticizes Western companies for self-censoring in China out of greed. In fact, the song ended with the line, I hope this song is banned in China. Is that ironic? Not really. It would have been if it had been banned in China. But no, it's a tragedy because CBS banned it in America. CBS All Access, which from now on I'm going to call CBS Some Access, said, we had concerns with some subject matter in the episode's animated short. This is the creative solution that we agreed upon with the producers. Apparently the producers threatened to quit, but agreed to stay on if they could run CBS as censored this content. The Good Fight is a spin-off of an older CBS show called The Good Wife. That show had been banned in China, because it showed a Chinese dissident being tortured in China. 
Clearly, CBS Some Access learned its lesson. Or maybe it's just because a few years ago, CBS signed a major streaming deal in China. And as The Good Fight puts it, It's the Chinese market. You need to toe the line or you get frozen out of the market. Now, while this may be shocking, it isn't really new. As the censored animated short presumably points out, Hollywood has been censoring their content to get into the Chinese market for years. What's different about this case is that the public actually found out about it because the show producers drew attention to it. Is CBS going to suffer any blowback in the U.S. for their decision to censor the good fight? If they don't, it will just encourage media companies to keep doing this in the future. I'd also like to point out that it would be a real shame if someone leaked that censored short on the internet where it could go viral. By the way, CBS's reaction is also why you won't see China Uncensored on any of the major American TV networks. And on that note, may I remind you that China Uncensored only exists because of support from viewers like you on the crowdfunding website Patreon. For as little as a dollar per episode, not only will you help keep China Uncensored alive, not only will you get some cool perks which you can find out about on patreon.com slash China Uncensored, as a way of saying thanks, I'll answer your questions on the show. Today's question comes from Joel Natror. Hey Chris, how will China reconcile its suppression slash oppression of Chinese Uyghurs diplomatically with Saudi Arabia and Iran? Surely that is, or will become, a bone of contention in the budding relationship between the CCP and key players in the Middle East. That's a question a lot of people have been asking. The Chinese Communist Party is brutally oppressing the mostly Muslim ethnic Uyghur population in China's Xinjiang, including most likely killing them for their organs. But there's been hardly any complaint from any of the predominantly Muslim Middle Eastern countries. Why? Well, I can't say for sure, but China has been investing heavily in the region. After a recent $28 billion deal with China, the Saudi crown prince did bring up the Uyghurs, saying, China has the right to carry out anti-terrorism and de-extremization work for its national security. In fact, so far, only Turkey has brought up the plight of the Uyghurs, and barely at that. So I really have to wonder if China's treatment of Muslims in China really is that big of a concern for countries in the Middle East. Thanks for your question, Joel. And thank you to everyone watching. Even if you can't support the show on Patreon, you can support the show by liking this video, subscribing, and sharing it with your friends and family. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored. <laughs> Want to know more about what happened with CBS? Next week, we'll have the songwriter for the animated short that got censored on the China Unscripted podcast. Click here to check out the channel and subscribe.